Hi, it's John Mayfield, the business tech guy, with your two-minute tech tip. Well, every now and then, I run across a software program that absolutely blows me away. And I want to show you that type of program I found today. It's called Photo Scissors. Now, have you ever wanted to remove the background from a photograph but keep a specific piece of that information in the photograph. In other words, you'd like to take your photograph of yourself and remove everything else behind you, or perhaps a picture of a property that you have listed or any other type of information. You want one specific object in that photograph, but you want to get rid of everything else. Photo Scissors is the program for you. And look at this. It is only $19.99 and it works for both the Mac and the Windows operating systems. Let me show you how easy Photo Scissors is to use. So our first order of business is to import the picture. Second, you want to go up and select the red button right here. Now this is called the marker and we can change the size of the marker right up here where I'm at. Once you have your marker selected, and I'm going to make the marker just a little bit bigger as it defaulted, I will actually just make one mark here and one mark on this side. Now we want to go up and select the green button which will give us a marker as well and here I'm just going to kind of draw a line through this part of the photograph. Green stands for stays, red stands for delete. Now I could, if I wanted to, zoom in and change my marker size and do some uh, additional work, but I want to show you with just these specific features that have been marked how easy and accurate photo scissors is. So our next step is to select cut out. As it processes, it does not take very long at all. Look at that. Is that amazing or what? And again, you watched me do this in real time. I didn't really go in and do a lot of painstakingly detail work, but I could have done that if I wanted to. And now I have a photograph that is cut out that I can use as a transparent image within a PowerPoint presentation program, a postcard, letterhead, or even my email signature. It's that easy. Now I can see lots of uses with photo scissors. If you want to cut out the background and just have a specific image of your house, uh, again photographs of yourself, or many many more uses in the business world. But it's called Photo Scissors. It's really easy to use. Once you've cut your photograph out, and there's many other features you can use. Select Save, give your photograph a name, and then hit the Save button and you are good to go. So check it out. It is called Photo Scissors. I have been playing around with it today and I gotta tell you what, it's really a pretty cool program and I think you will like it as well. As always, thanks for watching this two minute tech tip. Don't forget about my special Evernote training program that I have going on right now. 30 days to success using Evernote. You get a new email each and every day showing you how to use Evernote. Details for you to purchase that program are within this email. It is a great program. I really like it. I know you will too. So check it out and have a great day and I'll talk to you again soon with another two-minute tech tip. Oh,